Oh, damn. I need some help. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing like a full face of new makeup that I've recently received. And then also I'm going to be doing a few Q&A que <laughs> What? I'm going to be answering a few questions that I asked you guys to ask me on Instagram. Um, I still have them all on my phone. So I'm just going to scroll through them while doing my makeup and then... <laughs> So I'm gonna start by priming my face. I've already moisturized. I use the L'Oreal Revitalift. I'm going in with this Essence Hydrating and Perfecting Primer. This is a new primer from Essence. It's got SPF 20 and it says shake before use. So let's just shake it up. Okay, let me start answering questions. Flip. Don't you just hate when Virgin Active steals all your money? Okay, so the first question is, what are your favorite gym wear brands? Okay, so I really enjoy Cotton On Body. I am a Cotton On Body brand ambassador, but that doesn't really influence my opinion because I genuinely do like the stuff and I have been shopping at Cotton On for like the longest time, like as long as I can remember. I've been shopping at Cotton On Body and buying all my gym wear and sports bras there. So it hasn't really influenced um, <laughs> my opinion on them. It just is like such a bonus for me. So I really love Cotton On Gym Wear. I'm also a huge fan of Caper. Caper Gym Wear is also so amazing. I did a review on their gym tarts on my channel. So I'll leave it up here and you guys can go check that video out. Which makeup palette would you suggest beginners buy? Okay, so... There's so many palettes on the market and honestly like for me my favorite palette like of all time is definitely the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance like I don't know why it's just that palette that I always keep going back to because it's just so versatile and it's got like almost everything you need well for what type of looks I do but if you want to go for like a more drugstore palette situation I use a lot of these Maybelline palettes these like lemonade craze palettes or the burgundy bar or the nude one or they have so many new ones available um or what i do use essence palettes are also fairly good they're a lot more affordable so obviously with the way more affordable price tag it's obviously going to be like a little bit less of great quality but they do do the job and honestly most of the time i usually just put bronzer on my eyelids anyways so but my favorite palette of all time is the modern renaissance and i don't think that that is ever going to change i don't know why it's just something i always go back to would you ever leave south africa i don't know i honestly don't know i would like to but then at the same time I just can't imagine myself not being in South Africa because I just feel like South Africa like you know South Africa is just your home you know like you're never not gonna want to live in South I don't know that's just me like I really do enjoy South Africa I just wish it was way less corrupt country was a little bit less freaking crime orientated but other than that I freaking love South Africa I love the vibe I love the people and I just feel like we have such awesome beautiful people in our country and yeah I, w I don't think I would leave South Africa but if I did I don't know we'll see <laughs> we'll see when that path comes my way do you have any tips on self-confidence or self-love okay um I don't know okay wait I'm using the Maybelline Superstay foundation this isn't new um honestly I feel like you have to kind of just get to a stage in your life where you are just happy with yourself because I can't even tell you when I got to that point because at the moment I'm really I genuinely really love myself and like I don't need anyone to tell me anything because I know that I love myself and I don't need like validation from anyone else because I've gotten to that point in my life where I genuinely just like myself and I think that came with obviously growing up like maturing a lot because when I was in high school I was very like self-conscious or like always cared what people thought about me and I just I was just like not in, not, in, not in a happy place but just not like happy with myself and there was always something I wanted to change and something obviously at that age you can't change things but like I always wanted to I don't know as you get older you start to learn how to love yourself from what I've experienced for me when I felt happiest with myself is when I started living a healthier more active lifestyle and that's when I just feel my absolute best because still I have days if I'm not gymming a lot and eating super like healthy and like wholesome food then I just feel like ugh. like I really just don't feel 
happy with myself but you kind of just have to start not giving a fuck what people think and then that is just the way that you'll actually start to learn to love yourself because the more you keep thinking that people are just going to judge you for everything you do you're not going to learn to love yourself because you're constantly thinking oh but what would they say you should just do it move on with life and you know just screw it can you do a video on conjuring yes i will yes i will how do you receive such amazing gift boxes from clicks and other brands okay so i get this question a lot because people always just want to know how they can get free things <laughs> and guys you have to realize people or well, brands they only really are going to send people things that they think is going to have an impact to them as a brand for example i get sent i don't get sent an extreme amount of pr like other people but i do get sent like a fair amount of things and most of the brands that send me stuff it resonates with who i am and what i use so everyone always asks how do you get on a pr list how do you how do you how do you but like i contacted a brand once i never got a reply i followed up i never got a reply so i kind of just stopped contacting brands and i just wait for it to come naturally because i don't know i feel like if you force it it's just it's not like organic and you kind of just what i started doing was i post content i kept posting content and then eventually you know you get noticed and you get seen by the pr managers or the like companies that run the pr or whatever so you kind of just have to be patient you're not going to become a person that receives so much pr overnight like it's a long process there are still some really famous people not famous but like really well-known people that aren't on some pr list like it's just it depends on the brand it depends how well their pr thing works if their pr system doesn't work too good then you know but like it's just it's a long process post content get good quality content and then you know the perks of being a content creator will follow if you are actually passionate about it and you're not actually doing it for ooh, free makeup so yeah that's that how have you liked living in pe so far i don't mind it like it's not a big upgrade from living in jeffrey's bay if i must be honest because when you live in jeffrey's bay as a kid you visit pe all the time because you know obviously everything is in pe because j bay has like and nothing so for me living in pe hasn't been a massive change also living like alone with my boyfriend hasn't been a massive change either because like even though we didn't move in together like three okay we've been doing three years now so even though we haven't been living together for three years we've only been living together for one year when it was holidays we would literally spend like a whole month with each other so we already knew like each other's habits and you know what i mean like you already spend so much time with them it doesn't make it any different when you actually move in together from what i've experienced i'm not sure if other people are different from what i've experienced plays in our life living in pe alone is not any different from when it was like holidays and and then I was still in school and then he was in varsity and then he would come back for holidays. So I don't know. What is your dream place to live one day? I'm thinking maybe Cape Town, hey? Cape Town is just the vibe. I think everyone just wants to live in Cape Town because everything is happening in Cape Town and it's just Cape Town is just amazing like honestly are you planning on staying in PE next year again yes I am I'm spending one more year in PE one more year in the flat and then from there Blaze and I will see where life takes us and where we will be going so now I'm just gonna quickly set my face I'm using I don't have a new face powder but I'm using the Catrice glow illusion powder do you want kids hell yes I do but just a not right and now i definitely want mini me's and i want a girl and i want a boy i definitely want kids just hell no i'm only 19 not right now how did you and blaze meet okay so blaze and i we have been friends for since he was 13 and i was 11 that's how long we've known each other and i'm 19 now so we've been dating for three of those years and that's the three years now obviously <laughs> and we just kind of knew each other via our moms and that's how we met and basically we were always like really good friends and when we we're friends there was just like that you know like that vibe like there's just that that chemistry if i can explain it like that and every single time we become really really good friends and like some reason like it was just like it we could not just ever just be friends you know what i mean like it was just you can't just be best friends because you guys are like i don't know if you understand what i mean but then we'd like not be friends for a while and then we'd be friends again and then we'd be like best friends again and then we wouldn't be friends because it was just like we could just not never be friends because we were just like i think we we're just both well i know i was i was just so in love with him like all the time like i was just like oh, i want that man to be my boyfriend and he's gonna be my boyfriend i'm telling you he's gonna be my boyfriend and <laughs> now look he's my boyfriend um when did you start growing your account 
Okay, well, it has been... I've been on Instagram for a long ass time. Like, I think I've been on Instagram since I was, like, 13. I've had Instagram since I was 13, but obviously, like, then you don't post a lot. You just, like, kind of have Instagram because everyone's studying Instagram, so you want Instagram. And then that's how I got into Instagram. And then I only really started trying to grow my account or do anything with my account in 2015. I started posting a bit, but then I only officially started in 2016. So I've been on there for about three-ish years. When did you move out of your parents house i moved out last year no sorry i moved out this year this year february i moved out how do you get your teeth so white guys when i got my braces removed in 2015 i got bleach from my dentist it was the flip what is it called now opal essence opal essence is one of the most popular brands on the market that's what i used in the beginning but it made my teeth really sensitive so i kind of stopped using it and then i went and I started using, um, then I switched to Smile Sciences, which is like an American imported smile, like whitening kit. And then I was using that for a while. And then I just feel like it doesn't do as much as what the one that you get at the dentist does, because then it actually lasts. But then I started using Polonite, which is another one that my dentist was stocking at the time. And that one also made my teeth slightly sensitive, but it was like you leave it on for a short amount of time. So the opalescent one that I used first, was um, you leave it on overnight for seven hours. Like, are you kidding me? But it makes your teeth white as fuck in the morning. And then the Smile Sciences one was 30 minutes with the LED mouthpiece. And then the Polonite one was two hours. So that was a little bit less, but it still made my teeth really sensitive. So I started using Sensodyne toothpaste and that really helped. Then I started using Total Smile South Africa, which is a teeth whitening kit. It's the same as like the Smile Sciences one. You leave it on for a short amount of time. So that's what I'm currently using. And I just use it to maintain my teeth. I don't actually know how much it would whiten your teeth because my teeth were really white when I started using it. So I'm not sure, but I don't know. You can buy it, test it out, see what it does. Or maybe I can test it out on Blaze and then let you guys know because his teeth aren't bleached like mine. So maybe I can like bleach his teeth. He's got very sensitive teeth, so that's why he doesn't bleach them. So we'll see how that goes and I'll let you guys know. But I use those four different ones to whiten my teeth to get them where they are today. And I don't think my teeth could go any whiter, honestly. I think I could make the bottom ones whiter, but I don't really care because you hardly even see them. Okay, so I'm going in with this new palette I got sent from Pixie. It's the Pixie Times Heart Defense. <sighs> And all the shade names are on the back, but this is such a stunning palette. This literally is like spells my name. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this bright orange shade over here because I love orange. It looks so nice with my green eyes. I'm just gonna blend this into my crease. Okay, where do you get your eye base or primer from? Okay, so I use on my clients, I use the P. Louise um, eyeshadow base for myself. I literally just use my foundation. So the P. Louise base you can buy from Shop Betty online on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that they've sent me a few things before. That eyeshadow base is literally life. What is your job? Like, what do you do for a living? I am. I still do makeup on the side. Like, I'm still a makeup artist. But I don't do makeup nearly as much because it's just, like, it's been really tough because... In PE, we don't nearly, we don't have nearly as much feet, and I feel like for the small area that we are, there are way too many makeup artists, and it has not been as easy as what I thought it would be, getting lots of bookings in PE. Slowly but surely, it's getting better, I think. But for me, like I don't get all those random clients that like a makeup artist would that's in like a salon or something. So I usually get like matric farewell bookings or a wedding every now and then. But I'm still way more booked out in Jeffrey's Bay. Because obviously I have more of a name here because I've been here longer and people know me here more than they do in PE. Well, that's a little bit of my income. And then I also do paid campaigns on Instagram with brands. And obviously I get a few like rands or like a hundred or whatever from YouTube. Not much, but it's better than nothing. And then also my mom, she owns a food trailer and she also owns a restaurant. So when she does markets with her food trailer in PE, then I come and help and I do the money side of the market. Oh, and then in December and in July, when it's like holiday time, I obviously still waitress at my mom's restaurant. I don't really waitress anywhere else anymore. I quit my job in PE because I just couldn't do it it was not for me i still waitress at my mom's restaurant because obviously you're always gonna help family out no matter what and obviously in december the money is just too good to give up i'm just gonna quickly go in with this dark brown shade i just used this shade on top of the other one i'm just gonna use this now in the outer corner and i'm under eyes. why do you tan yourself so much because i want to that's why best drugstore foundation maybelline 
Superstay Allego Pro Coverage Foundation. I haven't tried the matte one. I also really love the Maybelline Fit Me, but this one is a bit too dark for me at the moment. Favorite makeup brand. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few because I can't choose one. And one of my favorite brands is definitely Maybelline Essence. Lately, Catrice. Catrice is an absolute vibe. I'm actually obsessed. Um, Wet n Wild is also a favorite of mine. And L'Oreal, I think. Would you buy the Tati palettes? I really want to. I've seen it, but like it's sold out everywhere. I'm going to wait for it to be sold by a South African um, page that resells them. Because I'm not going to wait and order from that and just like maybe not even ever receive it. So I'm waiting for it to be available on a South African website. And if it is, let me know and where so I can buy it. But I would prefer to wait until Shop Betty Online has it so I can support them because they support me. And that is how you do it, friends. Please recommend a good setting powder that prevents flashback and creases. I really have been enjoying this Glow Illusion powder from Catrice. Looks like this. Or the Yardelay Absolute Translucent. Always a good choice. Also good for a makeup artist kit. Also that Essence Compact Powder. Very nice. Um, I actually got it just somewhere. Yeah, this one. This Essence Mattifying Compact Powder. Very nice. It doesn't cause any flashback from what I've seen personally. How is life after school and do you miss school? Hell no, I don't miss school. School was actually the biggest drag in my life. And I wouldn't go back if someone had to pay me. Okay, I'd go back if you paid me like 5 million rand. But like, that's about it. Okay, I'm just going to go in with some glycerine soap. And I'm going to do soap brows. So what you do is you basically... um spray it wet with like a setting spray or something and then you brush it through your brows like you would a brow gel or something so grossed out from my wisdoms because like i can't brush my teeth properly like i brush my front teeth like there but like i can't brush any more than that and he said that i mustn't mouth wash or like properly rinse my mouth like i did a little bit like i used a little bit of like what is it like antiseptic mouth rinse but like i didn't obviously like gargle it properly that is the end of this video thank you so much to everyone that asked me questions um i didn't get to all of them but like i answered the ones that were like the most asked questions and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this natural look that i created with all these new products some of them weren't new but yeah i just played around with some new stuff that i've been using and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye